Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Another collector's box here. This set continues to be a big hit. Uh, a lot of good pulls. Still good value, even though the set's been out for a few weeks now. Well, a month. Over a month now. So, still got cards that are in the 20s, 30s, you know, 40s. So, 60s, I think. Um, so, I think the synthesizer might come back down a little bit. But, regardless... A lot of value in this set. So we're going to bust open another collector's box, see if we get any of the big hits that are still retaining their values and some of the ones that are climbing up. Just to see what we get and stock up some more singles at the store here. So how are you guys liking this set? Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, what you think the cards that are going to have staying power and what you think the cards that are not going to have staying power are. We got a Mercenary Human Warrior. Flame Jumper. Fell the Mighty, Heroic Charge, Kellen joins up, and one last job, and to skewer the critics for, unfortunately, not the greatest first pack here. Uh, there are some good uncommons and commons in the set. Um, gold band, that's one you want to always grab when you're drafting, but I don't think it's worth a whole lot. Let's check pack number two. Treasure, Human Clerk, Surgical Extraction, not bad, not much value left, but still a good card. Problem might. Bounty Board, Duelist of the Mind, Vadmir, and wow. All right, so we're not off to the greatest start with this box so far. <laughs> it's uh, looking a little rough. All right, two packs in, and we got nothing to show for it. Nothing at all. Where's the beef? All right. I know. It's been a few days since you guys heard me say that. <laughs> Treasure and Boo. Boo. Everybody loves that token. Transmutation Font, uh, not doing much, not yet. Crow Ultimatum, Savvy Trader, he's seeing some play. Avarice, seeing a little bit of play. Dust Animist, but we're still not getting any of the good hits at all. What's happening? There's a lot of hits, we're not seeing any of them. All right, back number four, you guys on the board? I hope you guys on the board, because so far, this is looking like a terrible box. We got Angel and Treasure, Health to Pay, Crackle with power. Oh, I'm not even pulling out the mythics. All right, anyway, I think that's only the second one. <laughs> uh, Thieving Varmint. Hey, loot. At least we got a loot. Loot is cute. All right, and hey, another one, Savala. Two mythics back to back there. So, at least we got some mythics in that pack. Again, another big chase card, but Snakeskin Veil and the common spot. But at least we're getting some mythics. Let me make sure I didn't miss any others because uh, you guys always yell at me when I do that. Uh, I didn't think we'd passed any. Yep, that was it. Just those. So we got four mythics, and none of them have much of any value. Loot looked like it was going to have a lot of value, but he's not doing so well. I think it was just the artwork. Everybody thought it was adorable. Treasure and food. Avarice again. Pariah. The Drake. Gitrog. Uh, he's, he's seeing a lot of play. Three steps ahead, that rare is probably one of the better rares in the set. That one's seeing tons of play. Uh, Henry Lake, Bear in the Garden. Not much else to write home about. <laughs> Haven't gotten our uh, River Runner or Coyote yet either. So the verdict is everybody hates the theme, but everybody likes the cards. <laughs> Ox and a treasure and a gorgeous Stoneforge Mystic. Look at that thing. Beautiful Stoneforge Mystic from the special guest slot in an archive trap right behind her. And the Fixer, Ariete and Abeka. Abeka sees a lot of play. Still not a terribly valuable card, but it is seeing a lot of play. Oh, there's our Roadrunner. We got our Roadrunner. Now we just gotta find our Coyote. Unless I missed him already. Alright. Okay, five Mythics and up to about five dollars. <laughs> Except the stone board. Stone board is a big hit so far. Treasure copy, detention sphere, primal command, stagecoach. There we go, the railway brawler. That one's getting more and more popular by the day. The steed is doing nothing at all except taking up space in the boxes at the store. A lot of spur boots. That one's seeing a lot of play. Uh, commander players are definitely grabbing onto that one already. Okay. Get in the box. Get in the box. All right. Treasure Human Warrior. We got a Gyrid. Voidrend. Doom Chander. Magda. I love Magda. Not worth a whole lot yet, but great card. 
the cornucopia for another mythic. And the duplication is real, people. We see lots of duplication in these. Uh, Outlaws Fury. <laughs> I love that one for a drafter sealed. There's so many outlaws. That's like it's like a rally of the wings for everything. <laughs> Alright, oh did I bump the camera? I'm bumping the camera. Sorry, I'm all bad. Alright, treasure and clue. Our first land. Wow. Domino creativity. I only got, got one lane in this box, probably. That's weird. Karachi, combo, seeing a lot of play. Archmage's Newt, the Savage Smash. <laughs> Ride down and do the Savage Smash. Okay, I'm going to leave that one alone. There, we're not going any further in that conversation. All right, the, uh, the PC police have arrived. Mercenary and Elemental, and look at this. Look at that. It's the Gilded Foil Lotus Ring. What do they call it? Raised foil? Because they want to be lame. It's called Gilded Foil. That's what we've come to know this type of foiling as. That is gorgeous. If you haven't seen one of these Gilded Foils in person, they are amazing. And I think that might be the most expensive mythic in the set. The Gilded Foil Lotus Ring. Maybe? I don't know. Probably not. Probably the Gilded Foil uh, synthesizer. But that is a beautiful card nonetheless. We're going to put that right into his sleeve. Probably should just put the Stone Porter Mystic into his sleeve too. All right, so we got two really good cards. The rest of the box, not so much. Dark Mage's Charm, Olivia. I think Olivia's a mythic. Harvester of Misery is a mythic. Kellen joins up. And that's all we got for that one. But that was a pretty good pack. Uh, definitely woke the box up a little, because before that, I was wondering if we were going to make any anywhere close to our money back on this box. But that one probably gives us a nice little chunk of recovery there. Mercenary and bow and look <laughs> a contagion engine etched for uh yeah what do they call it not etched well um yeah textured wall it's 3D textured wall contagion engine man that happened in the first box we opened I got both the gilded fall and the uh textured and I was like oh well I guess you're gonna get one of each in every box <laughs> then kind of find out I opened a lot more boxes and that's only the second gilded foil I've gotten so. Detention Sphere, a good card. Rumbleweed, good card. Carbeck, the Punisher, seeing a lot of play. Oh, Molten Duplication, seeing a lot of play. That one's pretty sought after. It's not very expensive yet, but a lot of people are after that card. Uh, the Scorn, the Hypothesis, the Demonic Ruckus, seeing a lot of play, too. Uh, in Standard, I don't know if it's seeing much outside of Standard yet. I don't know. I think so. I think it's seeing a little bit outside of Standard. We'll find out, though. All right. Treasure and Dinosaur. And we got a Commandeer, Skull Crack, Back in Town, High Noon, that one, that one's in a, a lot of decks already, and a Spire Bluff for a second land, and that's all she wrote, no Coyote, oh no, we didn't get a Coyote, unless I missed him in the early packs, uh, but I think we're Coyote-less, yep, we're Coyote-less, we got a Roadrunner, but nobody to chase him, alright, yeah, they're not worth anything. We only got two lands on the whole box. A full art, full and inspiring vintage, and a foil spur bluff canal. Uh, we got how many mythics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen mythics. That's a good amount of mythics. We did get the duplication. Harvester seeing a little bit of play. Olivia a little bit. Um, Brawler. Get rogue seeing a little bit loot not really a whole lot of value in the mythics except for these three i gotta get asleep with a stone quartz she's pretty not as pretty as the double masters 2022 though that is still the hands down best looking stone forge bitch i think but this is a, a good second um but we got the gilded fall and the textured fall in the same box again we did it twice that's pretty good made up for the rest of that box so three cards almost paid for the box <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget to check out the description below click some of those links they help out the channel they help you out save you some money get you some cash back free money money's good uh every penny you can get for free gets you a little further in this life so anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below love to hear from you guys and we'll see you in the next one bye